Measurements, time, length, and volume. Measuring lengths. To measure lengths, often a meter rule is used in the lab. However, for smaller distances, a micrometer or vernier calipers could be used. Measuring lengths continued. When measuring the length of an object, you don't need to start at the end of the ruler. So here, if I want to measure my sign that says measuring lengths continued, well, I could start from 4 centimeters and finish at 25 centimeters. And 25 minus 4 is 21, so the length of my sign would be 21 centimeters. Measuring time. Time intervals can be measured using clocks and stopwatches. However, stopwatches ha have the advantage in that they can be easily reset. And measuring volume. To measure the volume of a liquid or a solid, uh, a measuring cylinder can be used. Often they're marked in milliliters, but one milliliter is equal to one centimeters cubed. And note, always measure from the bottom of the meniscus. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye for now.